The conjunctiva is a transparent mucous membrane that lines the inner surface of the eyelids and the front surface of the eye globe. Conjunctivitis refers to the inflammation or infection of the conjunctiva. Conjunctivitis is acute if lasts less than four weeks. Chronic, more than four weeks. Most common causes of conjunctivitis are viruses, bacteria, or allergy. 80% of conjunctivitis are caused by viral infection. Viral conjunctivitis. Adenovirus is the virus responsible on the 90% of viral conjunctivitis. Symptoms include itching and tearing, history of recent upper respiratory tract infection, watery discharge, treatment. Spontaneous resolution of viral infection usually occurs within two to three weeks, so specific treatment is typically unnecessary. Treatment can include relief with cold compresses and artificial tears. Topical steroids aren't recommended for viral or bacterial infections, because they can longer the infection. Another common form of conjunctivitis is allergic conjunctivitis. Allergic conjunctivitis is encountered around 40% of population. It is huge part of population, but only small proportion of these individuals seek medical help. Allergic conjunctivitis frequently associated with seasonal allergy and asthma. Acute itching and watering are common symptoms, but the hallmark is chemosis. Chemosis is the swelling, or edema, of the conjunctiva. Allergic conjunctivitis worse during the spring and summer. The most frequent allergens are tree and grass pollens. Perennial allergic conjunctivitis causes symptoms throughout the year, generally worse in the autumn when exposure to house dust mites, animal dander, and fungal. Treatment. Artificial tears for mild symptoms. Mast cell stabilizers, e.g. Sodium chromoglycate, nedochromyl sodium, lodoxamide, must be used for a few days before exerting maximal effect, but are suitable, except lodoxamide for long-term use if required. Antihistamines, e.g. emidastin, epinastine, levocabastine, bipotestine, can be used for symptomatic exacerbations and are as effective as mast cell stabilizers. Dual-action antihistamine and mast cell stabilizers, e.g. azelastine, ketotifen, allopatadine, act rapidly and are often very effective for exacerbations. Bacterial conjunctivitis. Bacterial conjunctivitis more common among children. Moderately purulent discharge occurs in acute bacterial conjunctivitis. Severe purulent discharge is suggestive of gonococcal infection. Significant pain, photophobia, or a marked foreign body sensation. Suggest corneal involvement. Acute bacterial conjunctivitis is a common and usually self-limiting. Condition caused by direct contact with infected secretions. The most common isolates are Streptococcus pneumoniae, Staphylococcus aureus, Haemophilus influenzae, and Moraxella catarralis. A minority of cases, usually severe, are caused by the sexually transmitted organism Neisseria gonorrhoeae, which can readily invade the intact corneal epithelium. Meningococcal, Neisseria meningitidis, Conjunctivitis is rare, and usually affects children. Symptoms. Acute onset of redness, grittiness, burning, and discharge. Involvement is usually bilateral although one eye may. On waking, the eyelids are frequently stuck together and may be difficult to open. About 60% resolve within 5 days without treatment. Topical antibiotics usually four times daily for up to a week but sometimes more intensively, are frequently administered. To speed recovery and prevent reinfection and transmission. Ointments and gels provide a higher concentration for longer periods than drops but daytime use is limited because of blurred vision. The following antibiotics are available, chloramphenicol, aminoglycosides, gentamicin, neomycin, tabramycin, quinolones, ciprofloxacin, Ofloxacin, levofloxin, lomefloxacin, gatafloxacin, moxifloxin, besifloxacin, macrolides, erythromycin, azithromycin, polymyxin B, fusidic acid, and bacitracin. Chloramphenicol should not be used for routine treatment because of a possible link with aplastic anemia.